Hey guys, welcome to Flat Creek Outdoors. I'm Phil, and if you're new to the channel, I've got a firewood business. It's, you know, one of a couple businesses of mine. Not full time, but it has doubled every year for each of the last couple years. I plan on it doubling again this year, which means I need more logs. I've commented on that before here on the channel, and I've got a nice pile of logs next to me. These cost me quite a bit. I'll get into the details of what it cost me and um, you know all the specifics. I'll also show you what's in there because it's a mix. But first, we're gonna go split some um, maple and some poplar that I've already got bucked up across the way. So let's head on over to the splitter. When you dropped the trailer here the other day, I was thinking, man, I could just pull the splitter right up to the front, load right from the trailer to the splitter, put the wood right here on the ground where we want it. That'll just work out perfect. Here it is. I like it when a plan comes together. There it is. A whole bunch of maple and poplar. Let's get splitting. So that maple and poplar dries real quick. I like that stuff for campfire wood. I'll sell a lot of it in the fall and it's, you know, May now, mid-May, and that will be plenty dry. 
um, by the time the fall comes and that'll be ready to go. All right, so I told you I was going to show you what's in this pile, and I also mentioned that these logs cost me quite a bit. Now, these logs cost me indirectly. We harvested these logs off of our own property and we did it ourselves. So these logs I'm saying cost me over $5,000 because that's what it cost me to rent the excavator for the last four weeks that I've had it. Now, I did several jobs around the property with that excavator. It wasn't just getting these logs. So they didn't really cost me that, but at the same time, yeah, they kind of cost me that. But let's take a closer look at what's in there and I don't really know how much is here. And actually this is one of several piles, but this is 80% of it. There are a couple other smaller piles that I've got around, but each of those piles have maybe eight to 12 logs in it. So let's take a look. We'll start down here on the downhill side. This is actually stuff I want to get a hold of first, but this is all maple down here. That's a little piece of oak. That one's poplar, maple big maple there that one might actually go on the sawmill that one that's underneath maple 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 mix in here and then we get into some cherry right there we get into some pine more poplar uh, there's a bunch of pine up in here uh, i'm going to try to sell a little bit more pine as campfire wood this year some more cherry down here this bark in here that looks like a I call it alligator scales. That's our persimmon. That's a really light fruit wood and we can probably sell some of that to our barbecuers. And then a mix of pine, pine, and then a whole lot of white oak. Most of this pile, I would say, is actually white oak. There's a big pine saw log right there. Uh, the rest of this though, really pretty white oak. That's a nice straight section there. That'll probably become something for the sawmill. Uh, let's see, a little bit of cherry, a little poplar, and then most of what's left up here is white oak. But wait, there's more. More white oak on the ground over there, a couple little pine logs down that way towards the old red truck, a couple more pine logs over there. So a good assortment of wood, you know, a lot of good hardwoods that'll make great firewood, a few saw logs in there little campfire wood with the pine and the poplar and that's all good but you know it's I don't know a couple cords worth of wood there easy in case you're wondering what we've been doing and what we've been clearing for we're actually getting a small home a double wide put on our property here so this is going to be the site for it we excavated this steep hillside I don't know if this was the best thing to do, but as a DIYer, I think we did all right. So we got this this uh, you know level spot carved out of this steep hillside here, graded it down. Uh, still got a little bit of work to do in here. We're gonna build a little retaining wall there and then grade uh, the rest of that slope up there. So we've got a bit of work to do still on that, but uh, that is where all of these logs came from. It's about a quarter acre overall, and that was just, you know, completely dense uh, hardwood before. So um, that's where, you know, all those trees came from. It's good stuff, good, good stuff. But it was a lot of work to clear all that. I've got now over 80 hours on that excavator and that's just that machine since we rented the excavator i put almost 60 hours on the tractor not all of that is me i've been paying for some part-time help here on the farm as well to try to get me some of this stuff done so it's just you know a lot of equipment hours a lot of time uh, you know invested in not just this but a couple other projects that we got going on around here and um you know the output of that is these logs which is pretty sweet We've got a bunch of cleanup to do. The burn pile is going and it's going to go all night tonight. We have so much that we're going to throw on that, but it's nice and calm now. It was breezy earlier, so I couldn't really do too much with it. But uh, hopefully we get this place cleaned up here in a hurry because, you know, it, we've got stuff to do like everybody else. But I'm happy with that pile of logs. We're going to get a lot of good firewood out of that, a little bit of lumber out of that, maybe some lumber that we'll try selling. I don't know. We'll see what we get into with that stuff. But um, until next time, hope you guys have a good one. I appreciate you spending some time with me. I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.